This summer, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos announced he'd be stepping down from his role as chief executive officer from the multi-billion dollar company. That gesture itself seems to show that Bezos, having become the world's richest man, plans to spend more time relaxing and, possibly, starting some charity work. But we feel like he'll be focusing on relaxing. Just as his time as CEO ended, Jeff Bezos took a mini trip to space on his aerospace company, Blue Origin. The founder planned to be the first non-professional astronaut in space, but a space race followed, and billionaire Richard Branson beat him with a couple of weeks. Before we start we need your great favor to subscribe to our channel to get latest updates about our amazing content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get updates on priority. So let's get started, another thing he did to ensure that he does have the best relaxing experience was buying a mega yacht. And the former Amazon CEO, who is worth over $200 billion in 2021, didn't cheap out for the experience at all, and allegedly dropped an astounding $400 million for it. But, when he's not using it, Bezos is renting it to other incredibly rich people. Beyonce and Jay-Z, who are both worth billions, just recently took a vacation on the expensive yacht that's worth millions of dollars to rent on a weekly basis. Beyonce shared some glimpses of the inside of the boat, and the luxurious vacation made the power couple spend $4 million a week. The yacht Flying Fox is the world's 20th largest yacht. She is available for charter. Italian media have called her Jeff Bezos yacht, although Amazon released a statement denying his involvement. Jeff Bezos is actually building a large sailing yacht, the yacht was recently delivered by Lursen Yachts. She was known as Project SHU. Her name was changed to Flying Fox on AIS data. Her first destination was Norway. Since then she spent some time in the Med, visiting Cannes, Capri, and Sardinia. In the winter of 2019-2020, she spent time in the Maldives and did some charters. In June 2020 she arrived back in the Med, Flying Fox is one of the largest yachts in the world. Based on her length, she is the world's 14th largest yacht. A place shared with the famous yacht Savarona. Which is exactly the same length, she is however a much larger yacht than Savarona. As she has an enormous volume. She has a length of 136 meters, 446 feet, and a beam of 20.5 meters, 67 feet. Her draft is 5 meters, the yacht is designed by Espen Oino. She has a steel hull and aluminum superstructure. She is powered by two MTU engines. AIS data show a top speed of 15 knots and a cruising speed of 10 knots. But we think she is capable of higher speeds. The Flying Fox boat is available for charter through Imperial Yachts. The yacht is not listed for sale. But here's where the controversy lies. Bezos reportedly commissioned the yacht in 2019, but there was never a confirmation that the boat is in his name. While several sources in the industry name the billionaire as the official owner, some others claim he hasn't even stepped foot on the Flying Fox. And while the Flying Fox provides absolutely everything so you can relax, enjoy, and spend quality time with your family and close friends, Jeff Bezos also reportedly commissioned another bespoke yacht, for which he will pay over $500 million with a helipad and its own support yacht, which is not included in the price tag. Whether or not Bezos actually owns the yacht, it's still an impressive construction. Measuring 466 feet, 136 meters, and spanning across four decks, the Flying Fox is the 14th largest yacht in the world. It has a beam of 22.5 meters 73.8 feet, a draft of 5.1 meters 16.7 feet and a volume of 9022 GT, built in 2019 by Lursen Yachts, it comes with two helipads, a 40 feet 12.2 meters swimming pool, a two-deck spa with health and wellness facilities, and a cinema. The Flying Fox is powered by two MTU 16 V 1163 M84 diesel engines that take it to top speeds of 20 knots. 23 miles per hour or 37.4 kilometers per hour, and a cruising speed of 15 knots, 17.2 miles per hour or 27.8 kilometers per hour, and has a steel hull and aluminum superstructure. The interior design is also impressive, and Espen Oino managed to give the yacht an elegant and sleek exterior, despite its massive size. It can accommodate up to 22 guests in 11 cabins, 
all with private sea view terraces. The master suite takes up the entire top deck, with a size of 328 square feet, 30 sqm. Its interior boasts a luxurious, contemporary décor created by Mark Berryman Design, making it look cozy with the use of woods and warm tones. Besides the facilities mentioned, there is also a nightclub, a gym, a sauna, and water sports equipment. To cater to your every need, you have 55 crew members on board, which includes chefs and messers. With all these features, the Flying Fox will provide you with a luxurious vacation, whether you're there to party, relax, or travel. But Jeff Bezos' alleged mega yacht isn't anywhere close to being the most expensive one out there, the top of the list being evaluated at $4.8 billion, called the History Supreme, and it's owned by Robert Kwok. As Bezos recently commissioned another mega yacht for $500 million, we'll have to wait and see what luxuries Bezos wants to have on board when he vacations. Jeff Bezos, now we discuss about Jeff Bezos' assets, Bezos is the founder of Amazon, the world's biggest online retailer. The Seattle-based company sells electronics, household goods and other products through its flagship website. It also controls the Whole Foods grocery chain and offers cloud computing and streaming services. Amazon had revenue of $386 billion in 2020. Bezos owns about 10% of Amazon, the world's largest online retailer, according to a December 2021 SEC filing. He also owns space exploration company Blue Origin, which is included at Bloomberg's calculation of investment cost. Determining a valuation for Blue Origin is difficult because of its unique strategy and the fact that Bezos is the sole shareholder with no apparent intent to sell. According to Chad Anderson, CEO of venture fund Space Angels, a Blue Origin director said at a 2014 space conference in Washington that the billionaire had invested at least $500 million, which is accounted for in equal amounts over 13 years beginning in 2001, the year Blue Origin was incorporated. Bezos said in April 2017 that he funds the enterprise through the sale of about $1 billion a year of Amazon stock. That amount is deducted from the after-tax proceeds of his known share sales from 2014 and categorized as funding for Blue Origin. That amount was assumed to be $2 billion in 2021 as the company performed its first human crewed flights and Bezos's share sales accelerated. Since 2002, he's sold about $29 billion worth of Amazon shares. Based on an analysis of Bloomberg data, Bezos paid $250 million for the Washington Post in August 2013, which is included at cost. He committed $2 billion to social issues in 2018 and made a pledge in February 2020 to donate $10 billion to help counter the effects of climate change. These amounts will be deducted from his net worth when gifts are made, the value of his cash investments includes these transactions, taxes, and market performance. Bezos held 16% of a